I want to ask you about Amani Hooker and just how he is capable of stepping up as a leader, not just a progressing to a starter, but as a leader of this defense. It's something that he said he wants to do, and it's a role that he's embracing. Yep. Great question. Um, <clears throat> you know, he's a third-year player now. We're going into his third year. And, uh, you know, Coach Vrabel always talks about, you know, it doesn't matter if you're a rookie or if you're a 12th-year vet. You know, there are always opportunities to lead. And I think with his personality uh, that he will find those opportunities, um, you know, been happy with his progression, uh, both on and off the field from a rookie to last year. And now this year, again, he's trying to take that next step. And I think that, um, you know, it's something exciting that, that he's taken on and, and something that uh, hopefully we'll continue to see throughout the year. And we're seeing just in a couple of practices that I've saw, got to watch, you know, Bayard, um, you, you know, uh, Hooker, they're calling out motions and, and formations and things. Seems like there's more of an emphasis on communication. Is that something that you've kind of honed in with the guys? So, you know, always in our defense uh, since 18, you know, it's been big for our safeties to be able to uh, really be the, the quarterbacks back there and communicate our defense and also communicate the um, – the, the offense as well, just like you said, the motions, personnel, splits, all that type of stuff. So that's our expectations of them out there. So, um, you know, it's good that you you saw that when you're out there, but, but that's the expectation every day. And it doesn't matter if it's KB, Amani, Dane, any of those guys, that's what we need to do out there every play. And, and you know, it's definitely something that we're going to keep on demanding from those guys and something that they're going to demand from each other. I just wanted to know, um, Farley was signed this offseason. What does he add to the secondary? So I've known Matthias for a long time. Uh, you know, I, I had him when I was at Notre Dame. Uh, he was he played at Notre Dame as well. So, you know, first, just, uh, you know, his veteran presence. Obviously, he's been in a couple systems now, Indy, uh, the Jets. Um, so, you know, he has veteran presence, uh, his pro mentality coming into work every day, day in and day out. Um, and then just the ability, uh, you know, to, to play the safety position at, at a high level. You know, he started games in this league. And, uh, you know, so we're just excited uh, to have him here in, in that role. We've kind of seen Amani's, uh, you know, kind of development here. You've ever seen that. What, what's kind of next for him as he steps into what looks like he's stepping into a much bigger role, uh, you know, even this season? Yep. So like you alluded to earlier, just as far as, you know, developing from a rookie to, you know, second year player last year and now this year. And, uh, you know, definitely uh, happy and proud of him with his progress so far. But I do think and, and you know, that, that there is even more out there for him, you know, and uh, he's attacked it this year, uh, you know, with with um, the OTAs and, uh, you know, lifting and everything like that. And uh, so now we just continue to look for him to become that complete safety that can do everything that we're asking him to do as far as, uh, you know, <clears throat> deep zones, uh, intermediate zones, man-to-man -man coverage on the tight end, um, blitzing, all those things that we ask our safeties to do on a plan and playout basis. We just continue to look forward to him to develop those skills. And then obviously the communication part as well, um, pre-snap. And you kind of mentioned him hitting the weights a little bit. And I think he mentioned maybe he even actually maybe lost a little bit from a weight standpoint. Are, are, are you trying to, or is he trying to maybe find what's a, where he is from a, where he's best from a, a weight speed standpoint? I mean, is that part of what the offseason is about, wanting to play faster, but also wanting to be sturdy? And is, is that kind of, we're in the process of that right now? Exactly right. You know, he's been working hard. Um, you know, when he's been here with our weight staff, when he hasn't been here, you know, he's been working hard in other places. Uh, you know, he's definitely watching what he eats and, uh, you know, definitely just like, like you said, Jim, he's trying to make sure that he's uh, at his maximum speed, but also not uh, at a weight that, that won't be good for the safety position. So. How much does success maybe help his confidence uh, moving forward? 
Could you repeat that question? I'm sorry. How, how much do you think the success he's already had in the league and his ability to you know pick off four passes last year and, and kind of make the most of the time when he's been out there, how much does that help him from a confidence standpoint going into this year? I think that's a better question for Amani as far as his confidence level, but as far as my confidence level in him, you know, I, I'm, I'm very confident that, you know, he continues to, uh, you know, progress in the way we seem to do that, uh, you know, he should be able to play all the things that we're asking our safeties to play. You know, I think it's always good for someone, whether it's a football player or anybody else to be able to fall back on past, um, you know, uh, things that they've done in order to, uh, you know, have some confidence in the future. But again, you know, he's going to have to go out this year uh, in like he did in OTAs, mini camp, and then obviously in camp and, and do good things there as well. You know, I don't, I don't know how much last year is going to really be able to do anything for us, you know, come this year. And last thing for me, how critical is, is training camp going to be from a communication standpoint, uh, you know, with the safeties and the DBs, obviously hoping Janoris is out there and, and Elijah and, and Caleb, but um, you know, a lot of new faces to work with uh, from, for your group. How, how important is training camp going to be just to try to get everybody on the same page? Yeah, Jim, extremely important communication, uh, you know, with the new pieces that we've added, um, you know, over the last couple months, we all got to be on the same page. We got to see it through the same eyes. So that goes from, you know, us as a coaching staff and then uh, to the players. And so we're going to do a lot uh, to make sure that we all see things uh, through the same lenses. And, you know, that already started through OTAs. It'll continue through mini camp. And then, like you said, in camp, uh, you know, we're just going to make sure that our communication is at a premium level, elite level, um, <clears throat> so that we can we can perform well. Um, if we're not on the same page and we're not all communicating the same thing, uh, uh, you know, obviously bad things happen in the, in the back end.